Good morning, Indiana. Well, it's game day. Go time, as you can tell. You know, unless you're in a place with no windows. <laughs> if you look outside, it's snowing heavily, and it's going to do this all day long. It's 10.30. Uh, really quick, the National Weather Service last night bumped their accumulation calls back up for us, which Hamilton County is right here. They bumped us back up to 9 to 14. Uh, Marion County down in here, down this area, they went 6 to 9. And down here where there's going to be a lot of mixing problems, they went 5 to 6. And down here, close to the Evansville area, I would doubt they see much of uh, 2 to 4, 1 to 3, 2 to 4 down in there. But Columbus South is where I thought the problems would be, and, it's, and that's exactly what's happening. So... I think I originally had a nine to twelve inch a nine to twelve inch snowfall for this area right here. Uh, I changed that to seven to ten because I felt it was safer. I may be wrong on the seven to ten. I should have probably kept it at nine to twelve, but you know I'll keep it. At, I'll keep it at seven to ten just for fairness and game's sake. But um, looking at trends, this nine to fourteen looks very possible and very reachable. Um, so that's what the National Weather Service is thinking right now. So. Let's go to radar. We've here here we've got temperature map right here. Up here for you, it is currently 32 in Indianapolis, 32 east of Indianapolis. Bloomington down here is at 33, and down here in Columbus is at 32. But the problem was Columbus was reporting rain, and that I expected this. I expected this to to get out about to right in here, the warmer air. Okay, this this warmer air this warmer air aloft that usually happens when these systems start ejecting or pushing from the south. And I'll show you that here in a minute. Okay, so we've got we've got mixing problems going on in this in this area right here right now. Right now, I think from here, eh, let me go look. Right through the heart of Marion County north stays all snow right now, okay? Got to watch this warm air intrusion, okay? Got to watch it. But right now, I believe we stay all snow. So, okay, let me throw a Another dynamic in here too. Let's go to the radar, and you can see. Oh, look at this storm, ladies and gentlemen. This thing is gargantuan. I mean, just look at it. It's 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 huge. We've got <laughs> we've got all of this still to go. This system's starting to eject out. Okay, this is the track I expect to take right up in here. As it does, this will rotate in behind it and move right overhead of us. So this is actually moving up this way, but the whole the system as a whole is going like this, rotating around it. Okay, so we've got all this to go, and this system is still evolving. It's still going, undergoing what we call cyclogenesis. It's still in the birthing process. It's kind of like a baby being born, pretty much is what it's like. So, um, with that said, I want to go to. This is what we call critical thickness lines. Okay, each one of these lines. Here's your here's your freezing. Here's your 32 degree line, which I'm not quite seeing. What this has got to be a mistake. I don't know why they've got it up like this. This isn't right. Um, this is the, this is the mesoscale analysis page. This is real time conditions, and, and this is what I go to when we hit storm time. Okay, Th these are called critical thickness lines, and what these are, each line represents a layer in the atmosphere. Okay. What you, to keep this as simple as possible, you want all these lines south of you for snow. I usually like going by the yellow line. Okay, that's 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 the 850 millibar line. That's that's the snow line I usually like going by. But for safe sake, you usually want all these all of these south of you. Okay, now you can see where we're having a little bit of a problem with the mix right here. See how these lines are kind of just hanging right in here and in this area. That's where we're starting to get our are mixing problems okay right here well this low is down here and as it ejects up this way these lines are gonna they're probably gonna stay right in here they may nudge a little bit further north I don't know I don't know but I, I'm I am saying I think I think we're good right here in Hamilton County for snow dirt for the whole event but as this system moves these lines will also start wrapping around and they will start dropping southeast okay they will start following this this system as it ejects. This is the easiest way I can explain it. Okay, we've got winds out of the south right here, and we've got winds out of the northwest right there. Okay, and and that's exactly the way it's going to go. How far up will this warm air go? I still think Indy North is good. Indy, 
I think is okay. If I had to guess, if my life was on the line, I would say Indy Stay Snow, but it's going to be close. Don't. This is weather, folks. I see a lot of people getting so upset, so mad. I've, I've been looking at a lot of the news outlets here today. A lot of people were really upset this morning because they didn't see snow. Well, they're, they're all... <laughs> it's coming. It's here. <laughs> well, you have to understand forecasters, and I don't consider myself a forecaster. I consider myself an enthusiast because I'm not degreed. Some people will argue that. But you have to understand the track of these storms is everything. It's everything, okay? And if it tracks in this area just a little bit further north than what it's supposed to, it's going to shove these lines further and push warmer air up higher. But I'm going to show you where I think this storm's going to track. I think everything's right on schedule, and I'm going to show you this right now. Let's actually go to a, a pressure map here. Here's our here's our low right here. Look at here. This is a, this is the center of our storm. Here she is right here. Okay. Oh, sorry about that. Didn't mean to do that. Here she is right here. We've got a, a thousand thousand six millibar low. That's pretty decent sized storm. Pretty decent sized storm. Okay. See these right here. These are isobars. Okay. The, the, these are pressure gradients behind the actual storm system and the tighter these start getting to each other the more the winds are going to pick up do I think we go to blizzard warnings I don't know I'm going to be dead honest with you I don't know right now this snow's too heavy okay it should start fluffing it should start fluffing up though as of right now I do not know if we'll go to blizzard warnings it's going to be close it's going to be tight I, I've, I've been reading a lot of the discussions from the Indianapolis National Weather Service and they've been teeter tottering on it I think they're a little bit gun shy because of what happened last year Okay, last year I, I was in I was in the minority. I think they were right to issue that blizzard warning because the storm was forecasted to strengthen higher than what it did. So I think that's why they did it, and I think that's what they're they're kind of being gun shy this year. So let me show you something else really quick. This is what I, I use this I, I I use this religiously. This is what we call a pressure change map. Okay, and I'm going to explain r really simply what this is. Here's our low right here, okay? See this area right here? Basically, what you want to see. This is what you want to see. See where it says minus two right there? The easiest way I can say this is this low looks to be right on track to go right through here. This is where this low is, is prog to track, okay? Right through here. It looks like it's going to go right along the Ohio River to me, according to the pressure changes. The further now, if we get like a minus three, right here it's gonna make this track even more likely now if minus three starts up here I'll start getting a little worried that we're gonna be a little bit north of track but as of right now this low looks right on track to me to go right through the Ohio River just south or just a tad north one of the two and that puts us that puts us in the absolute right here that puts the heaviest band right through right through here right through central indiana right through central indiana if that track holds so anyway that's just a really quick update i'm sticking with seven to ten um nine to fourteen looks very possible probable to me with current trends i'm looking outside right now it is snowing very hard here in noblesville i'm here on moontown road and it's snowing very hard so we obviously do not have a changeover problem here indy north i think we're okay indy south i'd be a little bit worried uh, Columbus, Bloomington, I'd be a little bit worried down there. Evansville, I'd be very worried. <laughs> so, uh, just let it play out, guys. It, it's coming. It's it's going to happen. Stay inside today. The storm's everything. It's it's it, it's cracked up to be. It's going to be strong. It's going to be powerful. If you have any questions, please let me know. I'll do my best to answer them. I don't know everything. I'm an amateur, but I love doing this. So, and plus, I have no life. So, <laughs> and my wife in there is cooking. She's actually sitting there smiling. Thanks, Anna. <laughs> so, you all be careful. Don't go on the roads today. Take care, and uh, I'll be back.